didn't tell Danny to buy cheese. It's not a Bauer burger unless you have cheese. Rick. What? Rick. Cheese. Oh. Cheese is in your hand. Yes. I want you to relax. Breathe for a minute, okay? Oh. We are all nervous about Michelle. We are. But we have to let her know how much we love her and how much we will do anything to help her get through this. We have to let her know that we know that everything's okay, and that right, means right. relaxing. Okay. I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. All right. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. So that is what it's going to be like in the courtroom, except the prosecution is not going to be nearly as nice as I am. They are going to try and rally. So they're right. going to be ready. Oh, well, they're not going to have to try that hard. So, uh, are you <laughs> kneeling my little sister? Yes, I'm doing my very best, but she's a rock. She's going to do beautifully. Well, I smell something that smells a heck of a lot like a famous sour burger. Wait, Sue, wait a minute. Wait, everybody, nobody touches the burgers until I put my special seasoning uh, on that's it. Okay? salt and pepper. This, I, 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 I add seasoning to that salt and pepper, young lady. I just want you to know that. Hey, Michelle, how about a picture for the early edition? What? Get the hell out of here. Hey, 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 hey. What was that? Don't let it bother you. This is all going to be over very soon. No, it's not. This is not going to be over, is it? No matter what happens, this trial is going to change my life. Hey, it's a slow night, okay? Nobody's even here. So we'll just grab a quick bite and you can go home tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. Come on, come on. you got to eat something, right? Maureen's probably asleep anyway. Five minutes. All right, all right. Listen up a little bit. Okay. Hey. Uh-oh. What's up, cops? Hey. Hope you guys are off duty. <laughs> We're off duty. Yeah. After the third I believe I am. I believe I am. Let me get some right. uh, beers. Good, 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 good to see you. Good to see you. Sit on down. <sighs> hey, listen, man. How's Vanessa doing? <sighs> Same. <clears throat> Hey, listen, guys, I'm going over to uh, Rick and Abby's after this. They're having a little dinner party for Michelle, and I'm trying to get this guy to go with me. You guys are more than welcome to come, too. The more the merrier. He's an old man. No, seriously. He's a party pooper there. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing personal. Nothing personal. No, listen, I don't think that um, we're the guys that Michelle wants to see the night before a trial. So, besides, I feel kind of like a hypocrite. Hey, look, I think everybody in town understands you guys were just doing your jobs, right? Nobody believes that Michelle really killed Ben Warren. Well, speak for yourself, Bill. The way I, the way I see it, the case is pretty cut and dried. Wait a minute, are you telling me that Maybe Michelle's just something? Okay. No, I'm just, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Guys, you know what, I'm kind of feeling like the odd man out right now anyway, so no, I'm David, just going to cut. No, listen, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Have another one on me. Excuse me. I, I got it. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Huh. What's his story? Uh, I bet he doesn't have one. He has no life right now, and uh, he's kind of wound up in this case. He has no life. <laughs> That's funny. Anybody here have a life right now? If so, raise your hand. <clears throat> you look beautiful. I was just getting ready for the state dinner. Of course. Cassie, I wanted to do, I wanted to tell you about, well, I wanted to talk to you about my business trip. Stop. You know, um, you don't have to do that. It's not my concern. It is. You see, I, it wasn't a business trip at all. I was with Reva. She found Jonathan, Cassie. She found my son. So you don't need an heir to your throne. I'm sorry? You're being very diplomatic, Richard. And I know why you're doing it, but you don't have to. Because if you don't need an heir, then you don't need me. So I can have everything packed up and out of here within an hour. Hey. Hey, yeah, Beth? Philip, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant and the baby is yours. Well, um... Well, that can't be right. No, it's right. Believe me, it's right. Well, I, how, how, would, how can you know that for sure? Because Jim and I always used protection, and that day on the plane, we thought it was the end. And I, just, I just need to know what you want to do. What is wrong with Beth? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's, there's something going on at home with Lizzie. Um, Oh, well, then let me talk to her. No, 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 it's no, okay. Maybe I can help, you know, one woman to another. Maybe she'll tell me what's wrong. Harley, it's... Beth, 
say it's Harley. What's wrong with me? Beth? <laughs> that is so weird. I think the hotel disconnected us. Yeah, they must have. Um... No, 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 don't call her back. Don't call her back. Why? It's okay, because Honey, I... You know you are upset. I want to help you. I know, you know what? I'm thinking about this. Maybe maybe uh, we should just go home. What? No, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, it's probably just a cold or something, but, but she sounded pretty upset on the phone. Over a cold? Well, maybe it isn't a cold. Maybe I couldn't... She wasn't clear. Maybe it's the flu or something like that. She sounded upset. Honey, I'm sure that Beth is upset, but it has nothing to do with Lizzie's cold. I mean, the woman is getting married. She's planning a wedding. She's probably flipping out about her dress or what flowers, or is she going to cry when she walks down the aisle? You know, the things that women panic about before they get married. Right. Don't worry about that. Where were we? Honey, you were just about to make love to your wife. Remember that thing that you do when you want to make a baby? The nerve of that guy, Ross? No. Can you believe that? No. Well, obviously he thought I was Tom Hanks and he wanted to take pictures of my family. Well, Tom, you know, I am not the kind of guy who carries around videotapes of his kids or anything, but I just happen to have a photograph of the newest member of my family. Ah! Oh, might want to take she it. is adorable. And she is Clarissa. She's absolutely adorable. <laughs> Abby, did you see her? She is so beautiful. Did you see her, sweetheart? Oh, yes, she is beautiful, Ross. Congratulations, so honey. <laughs> I will get this one, all right? Because if anybody... Do you want oh, Holly. I thought you were somebody else, sir. Nice to see you, too, Rob. Do you want a, uh, you want a burger? Hi, dear. Oh. Hi. Hello. I've really come to see Hi. you. Hi. How are you doing? How Good. are you holding How are you? up your I'm, I'm okay. Everybody's been really great. So, I'm okay. Oh, uh, excuse me. It's very important. What do you want on that burger? Um, as little hot sauce as possible with the... You know, I'll make it myself. No, no, I'll make it. I, I, I'll be right back. <laughs> Holly, I didn't... I'm sorry. I thought... I think it will sell. I'll survive. Love from Blake. She's still in Philly. Mm -hmm. I send it back to her. She's about to become famous, you know. A Hollywood producer called, wants to make a movie out of her novel. You're kidding me, right? Darlena LaCrosse is about to become a household name. Wait a minute, Blake is Darlena LaCrosse? <laughs> Doesn't everybody know that by now? Well, Blake just uh, called me and she told me that she's going to use my story in her next book. Wait a minute, what do you mean next? She never told me about a next well, book. Well, she wants to take all of the people that she knows and use them as the basis for characters in her book. Oh, man, I gotta get an agent. This is gonna be big for me. Oh, us. 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 Colin, this is getting out of hand. A movie, another book, pretty soon everybody will know that the characters in that novel are based on you, me, and Blake. I wouldn't get too excited about it. By the time Hollywood gets through with it, it could be science fiction. Oh, I don't want my private life hung out for everybody to see. Hey, Raj. I want Kevin Spacey to play me. Can I request that? Okay. Can you come up with ten million to produce it? You can cast anybody you like. Okay, um, um, Barry Williams, Brady Bunch. You know, he, he played Greg. Uh, he was good. Hey, if they, uh, if they need somebody to tell a story about a girl who gets put up for murder, she can always call me, right? <laughs> come on, you guys. This is, this is okay. It's gonna have a happy ending. I'm gonna make it through this. I am. Hey, Len. Hey, what doing? are you doing here? Just gonna get some ice cream for me and myself. You know, I'm testifying at her trial. Are you even allowed to be here? I just wanna make sure you're all set, Len. You're ready to testify. And make sure you're not thinking about changing your mind. You're still gonna say that you saw Michelle here the night of the murder, right? I don't know if I can do this. Len. You've known Michelle since she was a little girl. You know she didn't kill Ben Lauren. But I didn't really see her here that night. Yeah, but you heard a knock. Yeah, well, I heard somebody knock. That was Michelle. You know that was Michelle. Don't you? Well, well, well. I guess this is a pretty popular shop. Well, surprise, surprise. Detective Grant, what brings you here? Oh, same thing as you. Buying some ice cream. Hey, Lynn. How you doing? Listen, did you, uh, recently do some remodeling around here? No. Why? Oh, I don't know. 
Listen, you sure you didn't do a little remodeling? Because I was rereading your statement earlier this afternoon, and I'm noticing now there's no window in the door. So? So how'd you see Michelle? You said you heard a knock, then you looked up and you saw Michelle at the window. Well, I'm looking now. There's no window. That's a solid wooden door. I understand, Cassie. San Cristobal does need an heir. And I, I still very much need you. I thought you said you and Riva found your son. We did. We decided to leave Jonathan there with Marissa and Alfred. I see. It was a decision that Reva and I needed to make, together. I apologize for not telling you, but... I knew if I told you where I was and who I was with, you wouldn't understand, and it would have hurt you. I just wanted everything to be settled before I told you. I hope you understand that. And is it? I think so. Reva and I have come to an understanding, something that we can both live with, and... Well, she realizes that Josh will always be in her life, and I realize... Reva will always be in yours. Well, we're, it's insofar as that we're both Jonathan's parents. You know, I know that you already made this big announcement about our wedding, so there's really nothing you can do about it without losing face, and I guess, you know, you, know, you still need an heir, and you need this wedding to save your country, so... Casey, that's true. <laughs> that, yeah. that is true, but... Well, you see, something's changed. Really? I really do want to marry you, and I now know why I want this to work out. Well, of course you do, because everything's in place. Your son, Riva, me. There are no complications now, Richard. You know, it's a part of our arrangement. Is that what you want? Truly? An arrangement? There's only one thing that I want from you. my touch no really i'm sorry <laughs> honey it's not you am i as sexy as ever you are i just mm. i'm sorry i got you're pale are you okay no i got a really really bad headache hey i think that's my line you're the one who's supposed to say but sex will get rid of that right right probably would <laughs> um no i sort of kind of coming and going today and i thought it would go away but it's just it's, my head's like pounding it's getting worse you're serious, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, honey. Where are you going? Well, I'm gonna go downstairs to the gift shop or the concierge. I'll get you something for that headache. That's a great idea. Thanks. Sure. Anything. Sure, sure. gone for a minute. Talk to me. Look, I'm sorry I hung up on Harley, but this pregnancy is not exactly convenient for me either. God, this can't be happening. What can't be happening? Um, I, I've, I've got to go, so I'll, I'll talk to you later. Beth, don't hang up. Beth, what? Hmm? What, uh, can't believe what's happening. Oh, that, um, that I'm so run down because I have, I have a wedding to plan. I have a, I have a move. Babe, come on, don't don't worry about it. I'll help you in any way that I can. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's not you. What, what's going on? What, uh, who are you just talking to on the phone? Um, it was it was the clinic. I just. I called them because I wanted to see if there's something that I could take to give me energy. Oh, we probably had a ton of suggestions for that. I mean, there's so much hold stuff. Me. Okay, just hold me. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. What is it? Um, we can make it through anything. Right? 
Where's this coming from? <laughs> I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I, it's just, um, I get I get very weepy and, and insecure when, when I'm run down. I know you don't know that about me, but we're getting married, so I guess you need to. Listen, lady, if you're trying to scare me off, it's not going to work. I'm not letting you go for anything. Mm -hmm. And we can tell each other anything? What is it that you need to tell me? I need, I need to talk about our future. About you and me and the children. Exciting, guys. I mean, it, am I the only one who hasn't read Blake's novel? Apparently, you are, yes. It's, it's all anybody's talking about. Circulation mm. is nearly double today. Oh. Well, I think we all need a little fantasy in our lives. Well, Blake is not lacking for imagination. I think you can all agree on that. Do you think we, we'll be able to recognize ourselves in the characters she bases on us? Boy, I'm thinking not only do I need to get an ace, I need to get an attorney. <laughs> what? Well, um, did you guys name Clarissa after the character in Blake's book? Well, yeah, but Clarissa in the book is much older, so uh, my daughter doesn't have to suffer any future comparisons. Yet. I'm going to stretch my legs for just a bit. Excuse me. Which... <laughs> we can't get Kevin Spacey. I'm thinking Kevin Klein. Oh, will you forget about it? You're nope. going to run out of Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Bacon? Huh? Hey, um... I just want to say thank you for tonight. Oh, please. We are all here to support you. I know. I know. I just, um... Well, you know, you don't seem like you're holding up so well. Are you holding up? I am. I'm okay. I just, you know, every once in a while I get this tidal wave of doubt. Well, you have to keep being positive. You have to be confident. That really counts in the courtroom. Is that what happened during your trial? Did you lose confidence? Well, it was different, but sometimes no matter what you try or how much you do, you end up on the losing end. That's why I can't relax, because I'm trying to hang out with everybody, and I'm trying to enjoy myself, and... Abby, I know I have a good case, but I just keep thinking, if it could happen to you, why couldn't it happen hey, to Hey, 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 listen. I had a very different situation. I mean, for one thing, you're innocent. And for another thing, you have a great, strong alibi. That shop owner saw you at the same time that Ben was murdered. You cannot lose with that. I guess I can't. No, seriously, your dad's done a good job with the place. I was telling Bridget that the other day when I talked to her. Hmm. Thanks, Matt. Must be uh, kind of weird for you, though. Me, you know, seeing somebody else run this place, being that your family owned it for so many years. Yeah, not really. I didn't hang out here as a kid or anything like that. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to grow up and run the diner. You know, I loved having a family business. Oh, man, the diner was the best. I used to always ask my dad why we couldn't have a restaurant instead of an oil business. I wanted to stay as far away from family business as I could. I wanted to be free. Well, I'll tell you right now. I think sometimes I'd uh, love to go back and flip burgers again and serve moussaka. Being a hot shop cop's not all it's cracked up to be? I don't know why don't you guys answer that for me. Pretty tough job, huh? Look, the reason I wanted to become a cop was to help people out, you know? Protect them from the bad guys. And what do I end up doing? I end up arresting my friends and letting the bad guys go free. So you'd rather be serving Musaka? <laughs> well, at least I'd make people feel happy, good about hey, themselves. Hey, that may be, but I think Eleni and Marina are probably pretty proud of you, right? Who are they, Bill? Your wife, Frank. Oh, man, look, I hardly ever see him, and, that, and that's just the point. I, I think my wife was a whole lot happier with me when, you know, before I joined the force. So, I guess I was right. Nobody has a life. You spend your time uh, arresting your friends, and you don't see your family, and I spend my time in hospital room all day praying that my wife will come out of a coma, and Bill, you... Uh... Don't even start on me. What? Shut up. Come on, man. You're young. You still have a chance here. Oh, what chance? My first love, Michelle, had, had rather be married to the mob than even look at me. So what do I do? I, I fall for Pilar, who I think is just about to join a convent. So... <laughs> you certainly have a way with women, Bill. Yeah, just laugh it up there, Matt. Well, 
Maybe she's got something going on with her right now. I mean, why don't you, why don't you go help her? No, 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 no. Josh already warned me off about trying to be the hero. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good advice. All this misery is starting to make me hungry. Any of musakai on the menu tonight? I don't know about musakai, but we have musakai. <laughs> about musaka? <laughs> I don't know. Let me, let me go is check it Japanese out. or... <laughs> I guess we are a pretty pathetic group, huh? It'll get better. You sound like you mean that. I have to mean it if I'm going to get up every morning. What are you going to do about Pilar? No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm through trying to be the hero for Pilar. I would, however, like to do anything I could to help Michelle. You know, I think out of all of us, she's the one who could really use a lucky break right now. Well, lucky for Michelle, you came forward when you did. Are you through badgering this witness? Oh, I haven't even got my ice cream yet. <laughs> I never told you which flavor, Len. And why do you think that luck had anything to do with Len coming forward? You know, everyone is on such a first-name basis with Len. That's his name. Yeah. What's the problem, Dan? You seem a little nervous, huh? What is it? You don't like me asking Len here any questions? I don't like your attitude. I don't like you harassing him just to go after my wife. Officer, what can I, you know, get you? Uh... Yeah, in a minute, Len. Hold on to that thought. You're the one with the attitude. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just doing my job. Tracking down leads, corroborating stories. Trying to bring down my family any way you can. First thing you've said that I agree with. Even if it means sending an innocent person to prison. Well, if Michelle is really innocent, why are you so defensive? I'm not defensive. I just don't like you going after my wife. And yes, yeah, she is innocent. Until proven guilty. <laughs> What's the matter, Detective? You, uh, you're not happy where you are in your life? You're looking to move up in the ranks? You're gunning for a promotion? I'm sorry, I just I can't think of any more gumshoe cliches. Right, why don't you take a week or two and think of a couple more, Daddy? Why are you so intent on hanging Michelle? If I were you, I'd stop looking at Michelle's motives and start looking at yours. Tell me what you want, I'll give you anything. Anything within my power. I want you to honor our arrangement. Now stop qualifying it, it is what it is, and that's okay. A marriage without love. Now, I didn't think that I could live like that, but you know, it's just getting easier day by day. It's not difficult. You told me to run a country, it takes sacrifice. And you also told me that love would just get in the way of this marriage. <laughs> I did indeed. And you know what? You're right. It would just mess everything up. And I, I think that's the trap that people fall into. They start expecting things from each other and hearts get broken. I could never forgive myself if yours was. Good. Then we're both in agreement. We could just move forward. No expectations. Not between us. I mean, I think that I can accomplish great things with my life here, and I'll have time for my children and time for the children of your country. No. Our country. Cassie, our country. Cassie. All right, I... I'll respect your wishes. I'll... I'll honor our arrangement. And about Riva, you know, I don't really want to know anything. It's not my business, it's yours. Of course. So, I guess we should get ready for the state dinner. As your future wife, it's up to me to remind you of those things. It's fine. I'm sorry, I know this is probably an antique that's been in your family for years. Well, it's only about 250 or 300 years old, actually. It's not old by royal standards. It's, it can be repaired. Some things are too broken.
I got you the gel caps because they're supposed to be faster acting. Great. That's very thoughtful, honey. Thanks. Mm. I got an idea. Why don't you put your head here? Okay. I'll rub your temples. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. About what? About putting so much pressure on you earlier with my siren song. <laughs> Your siren song. Thank you. It's just that once I got it into my head to have another baby, it's all I could think about. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> I want to have another baby with you. I really do. Because I love you. I mean, you know how much I love you. Well, I think I do. You should. Because anytime there's something wrong in my life, you, it, you just always seem to be able to find the thing to say or do to fix it. You are so serious. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I, I feel bad. Because I, I, it's important to me that you know, no matter what, how much I love you. You did only take two of those <laughs> caplets, right? Okay. My head will be fine. Honey, we're just... You know, we're postponing one romantic night. And I know that's not enough to get you this upset. What? What is it? No, it is. I am i don't want to disappoint you about anything, ever. No, oh, sweetie, it would take a lot more than just a headache to disappoint me. About our future. It's my favorite subject. I think it's great how we folded our families together, your daughter and my daughter, because we're not your typical family, are no, we? No, no, we're not, but, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. And you've been terrific about all of it, and I, I really appreciate that. And, and, and Philip, too, you, you, you get along with Philip, and I know that that's not easy for you. Well, hold on, because I have a slight confession to make here. I know you're probably going to think I'm crazy, but... Uh... I've always been a little jealous of Philip. <laughs> there, my secret's out. <laughs> but you, you, don't, you don't have to be jealous of anyone. You know that. No, I, I don't know that, Beth. I mean, you and Philip, you've got such a history together. And you have a child together. What? <laughs> Lizzie's she's still your child, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, I, th I thought you said something else. <laughs> and, you know, I, I have always butted heads with Philip, and I know I always said that it was because I... Um, he always had to have his own way about everything, but that's really not it, you know. I, I just didn't want him getting close to you. And then there was the plane wreck, and you guys were stranded together. But you know that when we were together, we... We thought that we were going to die. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll calm down. All, all I was trying to say was... I'm glad that Philip was there for you. Because I can't imagine how frightened you must have been. We were both scared, yeah. yeah. Still, you know, no, no matter what I felt about Philip or what I feel about him now, I'm just glad you weren't alone. I am glad that Philip was there for you. You'll always be there for me, won't you? Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to worry about Philip. Because I'm going to make this marriage work. I promise you, we're going to be very happy yes. together. Yes. <clears throat> but now you have some boxes. Yes, I you? am the box man. And Jim, and I can't wait to start our life together. Me neither. As badly as I want to be your husband right now, I am the box man. Yes, you are. The box man. <laughs> May I speak to Philip, please? Beth, listen, Philip told me. I know. He what? He told me why you're so upset. I know. Hey. Hi. You seem more relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, I had a really nice talk with 
Gabby. Okay, Michelle. Everything's going to be fine, you know. Promise? Yes. How? How are you going to promise that? Oh, you know, we're in the mill stuff. Like, uh... So my soul. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Yeah. I'm just thinking about how many things I take for granted. Like what? Like my family sitting around the kitchen table or how cold it is in January. And the freedom to enjoy these things in the first place, you know? Yeah. And Michelle, you're going to have all the time in the world to enjoy that freedom when this is over. Yeah. I, I have a good lawyer who believes in me. And you've got a big brother who really loves you. And I have an ice cream store owner who saw me the night. He saw me. He saw me. He did. And it's going to make things a lot better. Because things were looking really bad before yeah, he showed up. Yeah, I was really worried about that. I was. But, you know, this is, this is all turned around. Hasn't it? Yeah. I can't believe how lucky I am. I have a family who loves me. I have Danny who has really been unbelievable. I mean, he, he hasn't stopped believing me once. Not once. I know I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really glad you guys have each other. He really, really loves you. Yeah. Well, I guess if you want things badly enough, they have a way of working themselves out. Well, I hate to burst your self-righteous bubble, Danny, but Why? we're both in this for the same reason. The truth. <laughs> yeah, all I have is one simple question. How did our friend Len here see Michelle through this solid wood door? Well, see, it's how you're asking it. You're trying to box him into a corner. Uh, after she knocked, she walked by the window. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Yeah. See, uh, I heard a knock, and I looked up, and then I saw Michelle walking past the window. Right, right, you saw her go past the window. She was probably going to her car, right? You know, you don't have to answer any of these questions. Sir. Right, Len? Well, she must have been going to her car. Right. Isn't the parking lot around the other you side? You know what? This is not a deposition, and you are harassing a defense witness. Are you aware of that? I haven't even raised my Do you voice. want me to file a complaint against you? You're trying to, to bully him into making some sort of phony confession. Confession? What would Len be confessing? I just came by so he could tell me what happened that night, right? I think he told you. Oh, okay. Hey, Len, is my ice cream ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, great, great, great. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, no, it's on the house. No, 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 I insist. How much? Well, it's 580. Yeah? Well, this should do. Treat my friend here to some ice cream, too. See, you know, I was lying. No, no, we didn't. No, Flint. Hey, Flint, Flint. He did not know you're lying. He doesn't know anything. Believe me. He's just trying to rattle your cage. You understand that? Well, what about the parking lot and seeing her through the window? You just stick to your story. You heard Michelle knocking on the door that night. It's all going to work out, and it's all going to be fine. Just trust me. What if they catch me in a lie? Lynn, I don't think you understand something. You are Michelle's last hope. Without your testimony, she'll go to prison for the rest of her life. There we are. All better. Thank you. Right. Well, I suppose I better get ready for dinner, eh? Yeah. Got the dress you're wearing? Well, you, you, you don't like it? Well, I, I, I think it's beautiful. Uh... I just wanted to make a good impression yeah, for the guests. Well, <laughs> no need to worry there. I mean, make quite an impression with it. I, you know, a couple of days ago, it just seemed like, you know, just for a brief moment, that, that we were, we were really, you know, getting closer. Good. Well, I guess, you know, we're looking the part. I mean, that's the point, right? Right. It's important that we look the part, that we look like a couple in love. 
Uh, see you at dinner. shouldn't have told you. He, he, if he was going to tell you, he should have talked to me first. Why? Beth, is... how sick is Lizzie? All, all Philip said is that she had a cold or a flu or something. Beth? I, yes. Yes, uh, I, I'm sorry. It, it, it's just... Well, is, is Lizzie really sick? Y yes, yes. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I just get so upset when she's sick. Beth, please, you don't have to explain that. It's... I'm a mother, too. I understand. And don't panic. You're not going to be alone. Philip and I will come Is back home tonight. Time? Yeah, hold on. No, 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 no. Tell, tell Philip not to come home. Tell him, um... Tell him I, I'm, I'm fine, and I, I know what to do. I, 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 just tell him I'll, I'll take care of everything. Well, um, what are you going to do? I'm sorry, Philip. I, I have to go. Don't do anything until I get back. Beth? I know, you don't have to say anything. We're heading back home tonight. That sounds like she's losing it. I'm sorry, honey. Um, I feel like I really screwed everything up. I mean, you didn't screw anything up. It was bad. No. It's, you know, it's not her fault, I guess. No. I know. You're right. It's not her fault. It's her child. And we all make sacrifices for our children, right? right? We have plenty of time to make mad, passionate love. Yeah. All we lost was one night, right? Right. The Eagle has landed. It's the last box, and all we have left is your suitcase. I'll right. be right back in. Mm -hmm. Any better? Yeah, yeah, I feel a lot better. Mm -hmm. You sure that uh, there's nothing else about yourself you want to tell me right now? Warn me about? Not a thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, because now would be the time to do it. You know, if you're like an incurable shopaholic or uh, if you're a blanket hoarder. Blanket hoarder? Nah, <laughs> some people got a real problem with that. No, you don't have to worry about that with me. No, no, my, my only secret is how much I love you and how much I want this marriage to work, and you already know that. We deserve a good life, Beth. We've been through a lot, both of us. Things will fall into place, won't they? Things will fall into place. You and I are getting ready to go to our home, our home. We've already started falling into place. Let me get your coat and let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Guiding Light. Accessories provided by Coach.